Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So uh, this afternoon I got an opportunity to do a video that I've been wanting to do. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions about this on these tractors. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people ask, why is there that shaft sticking out of the side of the transmission? Well, the reason for this is that is, well, either one of these shafts could be sticking out of the side of the transmission. That is just a storage place for it. So <clears throat> I had the pull type combine behind this which is a 540 rpm ran piece of equipment so i had to switch the shaft to 540. so now i'm going to go back to the bat wing so that i can run it a thousand rpm i have to bring that shaft from that holder and put here in the back of the tractor so this one right now is set up for 540 rpm when that shaft's in it'll be set up for a thousand rpm so the shafts are different. They go into different hubs in the back of the tractor to get your different RPM rating. So um, <clears throat> I've seen guys ask how to do this. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now you're not going to lose the oil out of the rear end of the tractor. Uh, you'll lose just a little bit. So you want to throw a pan down on the floor if you're in the uh, shop or if you're out in the driveway, you don't really need a pan because it's not that much oil. <laughs> What I done was I went and I just took some brake cleaner and sprayed everything off uh, just to get some of the uh, dirt off that was stuck on there from driving down a dirt road pulling the uh, combine home. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll change these. There is a flat spot in the side of the shaft. That's where you'll want the shaft lined up with the snap ring so that you can squeeze that with a pair of pliers. Just normal pliers will do it. So. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll pull this one out, get snap ring off, pull it out, and, uh, well, I like to go through first and take both snap rings off both shafts. So that way you can pull this one out, pull that one out, stick it in, and you're done. So let me get the camera set up and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll switch these shafts out. Now I forgot to mention that on these higher hour tractors, Sometimes a shaft doesn't want to go back in very easily. So having one of these soft dead blow hammers, the, well, they're plastic basically, and you just have to tap that shaft just a little bit to get it to go in. It shouldn't take a whole lot. I mean, if it takes a whole lot, you might have other problems, but usually just a good tap. So we got both our snap rings out. I like to put the snap rings back in the same place as they came out of. So, move this stuff so we don't get it all oily. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull the 540 shaft out. You'll see the amount of oil that pours out. It's not a, it's not a whole lot, but it's enough to make a mess on the floor. So, there's our 540 shaft. Now, let's go ahead and we'll pull our 1,000 out. You can see they drive in different spots in the transmission. This is a 1,000, that's the 540. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll stick the 540 back in its holder, put that back in there. Now we'll go ahead and put our 1,000 in. That went right in that time. So sometimes it goes right in, other times it, it's a little bit tricky. So we find our flat spot on the shaft right there, hold our snap ring up. Sometimes the snap rings can be a little bit of a bear. There we go. Go ahead and work that snap ring back in there. And I always kind of pull on it just to make sure that it's in there good. Now make sure that you put uh, your snap ring back in your holder spot. You definitely don't want to lose your shaft. That's That would be terrible. Make sure that one's locked in there. Make sure we're all good. Okay, so now the 2940 is set back up for a thousand small. So now we can go hook it to the bat wing and we can mow it. Um, and if you want to go back to 540, just do the opposite of what I did and uh, you'll have it. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I hope it helped some people out along the way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.